when you crack a joke with your parents and it turns into life advice <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, it's funny, right? Uh, no? Okay. I'm a terrible person. That's not funny. Okay. You're sensitive. O okay, Karen. Okay, boomer. If I said that to my parents, they would just disown me right there. <laughs> Kanye's face says it all. You're just like, okay, I take it back. Restart, please, restart. <laughs> I didn't say it. Honestly, Kanye kind of scares me. <laughs> but what's up guys? Yes, today we are going over some more memes about our toxic parents part two. Cause apparently you guys really like the last one. So I guess you don't like your parents that much. <laughs> so yeah, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below and give this video a like and a share. But yeah, let's go. Me shows my parents a meme. Parents, I have several questions. What's their name? Who is this? How do you know them? Why is this funny? I don't get it. Wait, what did I do? <laughs> that might not make sense. Cause every time I try to show my parents a meme, they always accidentally click something and then it goes somewhere else and they're like, wait, where'd it go? So I just gave up. This kid just cracked the Mother's Day secret. Mom, I just wanted to tell you that Mother's Day wouldn't be possible without me. I'll be waiting for my present in the living room. Love, Jackson. That is true though. A mom would not be a mom without the kid. So yes, I'll take my present right now, please. My parents, why don't you call us back? Why don't you talk to us? Me, you took my phone. Shush, shut, shut up. Yeah, that's so true. Anytime you try to come back with a logical argument or explanation for something, they're like, um, disrespect, don't talk back to me. I'm like, I'm trying to answer your question. Fine, so we weren't the best parents in the world, even though we slapped you and emotionally scarred you for life. You need to let it go sometime, but they constantly remind you of mistakes you made as a kid. Oh, the hypocrisy. <laughs> like, okay, if I need to let things go, then so do you. Don't be a hypocrite. They're the reason I can't sleep at night because I'm just constantly thinking of every dumb thing I've ever done or said as a child. School and parents. And she's like, ooh, you're so handsome. You're so put together because of school. No. And behind is all the real work. And it's working kids till they cry, putting them in a toxic environment and making them feel stupid each and every day. Seriously, a grade is not the end of the world. I once failed a test so bad I made a 37. It was like 30 something. It was so bad. I flunked it. And look at me now. I'm a YouTuber making money and I didn't go to college. Joke's on y'all. School is not everything. It's not meant for everybody. That is the truth. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> There's always that one friend who has the mom who just wants to be liked by all the kids because she was never liked as a kid. <laughs> so she's like, I'm cool. Y'all can eat candy all night if you want and watch scary movies. Okay. I always love that mom. Parents, when you make a mistake, look at what you did. <laughs> look at it. That movie, freaking, what, what was it called? Bird Box? Yeah, that movie is scary and disturbing, but it's good. But parents, when they make a mistake, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're saying. That never happened. <laughs> yeah, okay. When your kids say, you never buy me anything. Oh really? Electricity? Water? Gas? Food? Let me tell you something, mom and dad. You put me here. I didn't ask for this. You forced me into this world, so it is your job to take care of me. That is not a present. Just saying. I know they're gonna get mad at me for that. That awkward moment when Annabelle reminds you of your mother-in-law. <laughs> what? Why? That no does not remind me of my mother-in-law. I don't have a mother-in-law. That looks like a Karen who just hasn't slept in four days cause she's been waiting on the phone to talk to a representative for a week straight. You can be anything you want as long as it's a doctor, engineer, doctor, master's degree in anything, then I'll be impressed. Yeah, I probably disappointed a lot of people. Seriously, when I told my band slash theater director that I wasn't gonna go to college at least right away. And I wanted to go to homeschool cause I hated public school so much. He was telling me, you know, you need to go to school or you're gonna be broke and live in your car. I was like, dude, I'm gonna be fine. I wonder if he watches my videos. Probably not. When I have to keep removing my headphone because someone keeps talking to me. <laughs> Literally parents all the time. If you're watching something, you have headphones in, they constantly try to talk to you. I'm like, I am busy. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> yeah, I'll do the dishes later. And I always try to give a look to let them know they're annoying me. I'm just like, yes, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about how parents will literally ruin their relationship with their own children all because they don't know how to apologize and admit when they've done wrong? Toxic egos. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they don't want to be told that they're wrong by their own kids. They don't want to admit when their kid knows better than them about anything. And I know. I'm gonna get a text about this video <laughs> soon as I post it. But yeah, parents just don't like being proved wrong by their own kids because they don't wanna admit that they don't know everything. Your mom when you're driving and she's the passenger, slow down, you're so crazy, you're gonna kill us. No, I'm not, I'm going 40. <laughs> like literally you do anything and they're like freaking out holding the emergency handle, telling you to slow down or you're gonna die. Like mom, I've been driving for how many years now? I think we're gonna be fine. When you tell your kid it's bedtime, but your husband tells him he can have five more minutes, I'll kill you if you don't shut up and do as I say. Oh, that's gonna be me as a mom. So true. Parents, when are you going to get a job? Me, in 20 years, meme historian. That is, that's legit gonna be a job someday. It's gonna be like about how memes reference the, his the history of when they were posted. Guarantee that's gonna be something. And I look up to whatever kid is lucky enough to get that job. Me as a parent, child screams, and I scream higher. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I can do that too. I can go crazy too. I'm gonna be such a toxic mom. <laughs> like if my kid's crying for no reason, I'll just cry back. Like, yeah, I get it, we're both hungry. There are only two reactions when a relative brings a gigantic gift for your kids into the house. Kid is like, oh my God. <laughs> and the parent is just like, Okay, all right. <laughs> I have to clean that. Why does Elsa look a little chubby in the cheeks? <laughs> Rolled the dice at seven years of age and ate some Skittles and finally found out that I was not deathly allergic to candy. Her parents tried telling her she would die <laughs> if she ate candy. That is so terrible. I'm so sorry you went through seven years of no candy. She must've been really healthy though. <laughs> when your sick kid wants to cuddle with you. <laughs> Oh, that's so true. I know I used to try to cuddle my mom all the time, even if I was sick, and she did it anyways. And now I'm like, ew, that's disgusting. I'm just sneezing all over her, just ugh. Schools, we're shutting down. Keep your kids at home. Parents, uh, keep them in my house where I live every day. <laughs> I cannot stand them for that long. That's why I send them to school. Yeah, I couldn't live with my kids like 24 seven for the whole 18 years that I legally have to keep them. So I have to send them somewhere. <laughs> Playing video games and drug addiction. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Yeah, there's a big difference. <laughs> Parents, they're the same. There's no difference. Video games lead to drug addiction and crimes. They do not. It's like, why buy me an Xbox and then you get surprised when I play it? That's your fault. Okay, they're passing notes. He seems happy. Just because you don't hit your kids doesn't mean you aren't abusing them. <laughs> Hashtag toxic parents. Yeah, there is such a thing as emotional abuse. It is a thing. <laughs> like when your kid tries expressing their emotions and then you get mad at them for doing that because they're upset at you about something. It's like, that's abuse. Because then you're not teaching your kid how to properly process emotions and how to talk things out. That's not okay. And she's like, okay, I get it. But she doesn't. My parents buys me a gaming console. Me plays games on the console. My parents, I was not expecting that. <laughs> and then they get mad and ground you for two weeks because you play games too much. Then why the heck did you buy it? Wife wanted five minutes alone. This was outside her door. <laughs> the household cannot function without the mother in this house. <laughs> Even the cats and dogs are like, mom, where'd you go? Why are you going to the bathroom? Where's your litter box? Random kids playing at the park. Their parents to each other. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> that is the white person smile. They're just like, <laughs> I won't even lie, that is a very true stereotype. <laughs> this is how my parents see me when I solve their mobile issues. <laughs> oh my god, he's so smart. <laughs> it's like, that cube is the phone, and then you reset it, <laughs> and the Wi-Fi works. Like, how does he do it? I, I don't know. Just modern technology. <laughs> and that is it for part two of memes about our very toxic parents. Hope you liked it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share. And comment below which meme spoke to you. Which one was the most relatable? I wanna know. But that's it. So I will see you awesome people next time. <laughs>